Hey, California drivers. Welcome to the 2024 DMV California written practice test. We've got the questions and answers to help you ace your DMV exam. Ready to get started? Hit that notification bell and let's hit the road to success. Question one. This sign represents A, a pedestrian crosswalk, B, a playground, C, a school zone. The answer is C. If you see this sign, slow down. Be careful for kids. Stop for school buses when they pick up or drop off kids. And listen to crossing guards to keep everyone safe. Question 2. This warning sign represents A. The end of a divided highway. B. The start of a two-way road. C. The start of a divided highway. The answer is A. When you see the end of divided highway sign, slow down and merge safely into the single lane as the road is no longer divided. Question 3. This sign represents A. Slow moving vehicle. B. Yield sign. C. Stop sign. The answer is B. When you see this sign while driving, you should slow down, be prepared to stop if necessary, and yield the right of way to any vehicles or pedestrians that have the legal right to proceed. Question 4. What does this regulatory sign mean? A. No left turn. B. Road ends. C. No U-turn. The answer is C. This sign features a red circle with a diagonal slash, which means no. The image inside the circle indicates that making a U-turn is prohibited. Question 5. This sign warns you about A. A slippery road. B. A winding road. C. A two-way road. The answer is B. This sign warns you about a winding road. When you see a winding road sign, slow down and drive carefully through the upcoming curves and turns. Question 6. A driver in front of you is signaling with his or her hand and arm pointing upward. The driver wants to A. Stop B. Turn left C. Turn right The answer is C. If signal lights are not visible, use hand signals. When a driver in front of you signals with an upward hand and arm, they are about to turn right. Question 7. You drive up to an intersection and you see this sign. What should you do? A. Slow down and only proceed if the intersection is clear. B. Come to a complete stop and yield to any traffic before proceeding. C. Come to a complete stop and then go. The answer is B. You must come to a complete stop and yield to any traffic ahead. You can then proceed when the intersection is clear. Question 8. What does this sign mean? A. The recommended speed for this curve is 35 miles per hour. B. There is a 35 degree curve ahead. C. The maximum speed for this curve is 35 miles per hour. The answer is A. You should slow down to 35 miles per hour or lower before entering the curve for safe navigation. Question 9. What does this sign mean? A. The speed limit during the day is 50 miles per hour. B. The recommended speed limit is 50 miles per hour. C. 
The speed limit is 50 miles per hour. The answer is C. You should not exceed 50 miles per hour in this area for legal and safety reasons. Question 10. What does this sign mean? A. Traffic must make a right turn only. B. Traffic must make a left turn only. C. Traffic must merge right. The answer is B. This is a traffic regulatory sign. This sign indicates that traffic must make a left turn only. Question 11. This service sign indicates A. Lodging is available. B. Hospital service is available. C. A service area is available. The answer is A. This is a service sign. Drivers are advised to use lodging facilities if needed. Question 12. What does this sign mean? A. Acceleration lane ahead. B. Narrow bridge ahead. C. Narrow pavement ahead. The answer is B. The bridge is wide enough to accommodate two lanes of traffic, but with very little clearance. Question 13. This sign is used for A. Showing alternate routes during road closures and construction. B. Showing tourist routes. C. Showing designated routes. The answer is A. This sign shows alternate routes during road closures or construction. You should follow these signs. Question 14. This sign indicates A. A road near a railroad crossing. B. A low ground clearance railroad crossing. C. A railroad crossing under repair. The answer is B. This sign indicates a low ground clearance railroad crossing. The railroad crossing is raised so high that a vehicle with a long wheelbase or low ground clearance can get stuck on the tracks. Question 15. What does this sign indicate? A. Only bicyclists are allowed to use this road. B. Vehicles are not allowed to pass bicyclists. C. Bicyclist must not use this road. The answer is C. A red slash inside a red circle means no. This prohibitory sign indicates that bicycles are not allowed on this route. We really hope you enjoyed our 2024 California practice test. If you did, don't forget to show some love by smashing that like button. If you're on the hunt for more awesome practice tests, check out our other videos. Don't miss out on our newest tests and updates. Hit that subscribe button and join our growing community. Your journey to ace your test starts right here with us.